Hey everyone, Zef here. Welcome to Eolia Overview. First it was Ionia, now it's Eolia. What's next? Like Uenia? It had to be like in works for some time already because Ionia didn't even release one year ago. Time wise it doesn't really make sense. Also this is like a fully fledged hand tracking game which would be the first ever to hit the store besides the updates. I mean the first project was pretty rough so I hope this time around it's gonna be different. So Eolia seems to be an adventure kind of music type of game. The dev state it's a follow up to the first experience though. It can't be treated as a standalone title which I'm glad. As a first story driven campaign there's like a lot to unpack in terms of mechanics. Many games already proved that hand tracking with locomotion and stuff like that is definitely possible. You can't really get more virtual reality from anything else. You're literally using just your hands. I do expect everything to be slow paced. You can't really do fast movements or even make a highly dynamic combat system. They say you can play it with controllers but it was initially designed with hand tracking in mind so we're gonna do that. It's gonna use tracking 2.0 which is a very good representation of that technology so far. Like if you cover your hands it doesn't disappear, you can make even faster movements. It's getting real close to the point that you can fully replace your controllers, well in some cases in mind of course. It's just interesting that of all developers Road to Entertainment are the ones bringing the actual first hand tracking game. Big shoes to fill and I hope it's gonna be better than the first game and let's see how it's gonna hold up in the gameplay. Here are my hands. Okay, there's no like cursor. I turn my head and that's kind of like my target. And then to confirm, I can like hold things. Interesting. There's smooth turning here, but no mention of smooth commotion like in moving. I know Waltz of the Wizards had kind of like a swiping motion, but yeah, every developer has their own thing. <laughs> Where am I? La, one of Pan's heptachords wanted to share her notes with all of Pangea. Wherever the notes touched the land or sea, instruments of immense power appeared. These great instruments of La were used by the first moduses to create more harmony in the world. Can be used to create harmony can also be used to create discord. <laughs> it's a 360, okay. Left hand moves the player. Awesome! Whoa, 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 whoa. A bit fast, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like very sensitive. <laughs> Cool, so we're good with locomotion. I was the most worried about it. Right hand turns the player. Yeah, simple enough. We're in the galaxy. Is Roku Entertainment the first one to actually successfully <laughs> make an adventure game? <laughs> The discordant songs of Salius Locrius call storms and war to Aeolia. Many of Alha's instruments were destroyed in the fight to control the rhythms of the universe. Those that remain are protected in the sacred modus lands of Nagana in case Nagrus Mori comes again. I have like a rectangle on my face, meaning the FUV is kind of like reduced. I got kind of confused in the settings how to like switch it off, but that's just something to mention. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, my locomotion is by head or by hand? Okay, by hand. <laughs> it's so weird to play without controllers, like an actual game. <laughs> Is that crazy to say? Okay. 
jump with right hand. That should be intense. Oh, whoa, <laughs> that's a combination. Made it. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Yeah, I need to be careful with the sensitivity overall. It's still hand tracking. What is this, Beat Saber? Your turn. Pinch to pluck strings. Oh my. Try one more time. How do I know which one? No, no, no. One more time? Wait. I'll play it again for you. Oh, it's highlighted, okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, well done. Balance now must be reset. No matter how, no matter the threat. Must chosen must rise to the accord. Again. Oh, wait, I thought it started from this. Uh... Mm, one more time. Damn it, I didn't pay attention. Hands the open journal. Yeah, I saw something before appearing. How do I even confirm it though? How this works? <laughs> Quit game, last page, touch the tabs with your finger to turn pages. What the? Why well, I have this FUV still? <laughs> I have like equipment? What's going on? You dreamt real again, didn't you? What did you see? What did you hear? Interactional based conversation? Oh. <laughs> Wherever last note struck the land, rhythm and harmony blossom. The ancient instruments were first used by the Modos to amplify their vibrational magic. From a single note, they could create vast forests and breathtaking sunsets. But they could also be used to create discord in the wrong hands. Very well. 
We best be on our way to Kudum. This is like a full on adventure. <laughs> Always the fixer. Me? I'm just good at breaking things. Go back around and grab your things. We are Lago bound. Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't really love the graphics, even though it's Quest 2 exclusives and stuff. It could be a little bit better, I think. It's not bad though. So, it's just me nitpicking. I think I need to <laughs> pick up something. <laughs> Uh-uh, wait. <laughs> I need this probably. I don't know, somewhere. Cut it. <laughs> yeah. Take this and put the fire out. Okay. <laughs> I literally do everything here. I didn't really expect to have a variety like that. Can we go? Pick up your camp bag and place it on the saddle beneath the drum. On the left side of the Lago, over there. <laughs> yeah, it's inconsistent, but it works. It could be better, though. Let's grab the Lagos and be on our way. Whoa! Can you show me? almost forgot. I have something for you. I've been keeping it safe until Kadum, but now is a good time. Here, go ahead and open it yourself. Oh shit, man, stuff. Hey. <laughs> That's it. Now whip the reins to go. Pull them back to slow down. Very good, Conga. Oh, no. To Kadum. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see if you can keep up. At least he's penetrating the terrain. <laughs> <laughs> will choose to run towards it instead of running away. It's a reminder that all of us must face the storms in our lives. Head on. Um, can you help me? <laughs> oh my god. It's been a long time since I've been down this route. Feels different. There used to be wolves surrounding this area. But now there is nothing but sand and dust. Your father and I used to race down this path on foot. He was a fast one. Hmm. But he was always faster. Despite all these sand and storms, the desert still retains a beautiful charm, doesn't it? It's kinda cool, <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh, what the hell? 
Turn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Move aside. <laughs> Watch me. Watch out, Conga! It's coming right for us! Make sure you are not caught in it. Don't run into them! Even I can't save you from it! Do not slow down! You can't escape! What the? <laughs> Stormbreakers. They'll help slow down the storm. The priest should be right behind those if I remember. Yeah! <laughs> I guess here. Move aside, man. <laughs> that sound we heard back there. That's a distinct note. It's no average dust. He knows. He knows where we are. I was hoping we had more time. Just need a little bit more time. We need to keep up the pace. Don't fall behind, Conga. Come on. <laughs> Sitting down, of course, is gonna be better. It's just for overviews. I have to manage. That seems to be the entrance anyways. So far, I like it. I mean... <laughs> Way more than Ionia, that's for sure. As a first hand tracking experience, like full blown adventure, it doesn't seem half bad. Like the controls are intuitive, sometimes a little bit wonky, but it's just because of hand tracking specifically. Locomotion is easy to understand, everything so far is fine. Overall, is it a playthrough worthy? I guess, as a first kind of game of its kind. I can do it. Kudos to the developers for actually pulling it through because it was pretty much delayed. And it's just fun to see some like groundbreaking stuff finally on the store. <laughs>